everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa. Welcome. So excited for you to be here for today's video. So I thought it would kind of be fun to go back and maybe recreate some of my old still life setups for today's video. Uh, for my next assignment, I need to set something up in my still life box and it's going to be another grayscale painting. Now I've kind of been feeling a little bit uninspired because I have all these really great items, but I want to paint them in color and colors coming up next and I'm so excited for it. So I was feeling a little bit like, what am I going to do for this last grayscale one? So I thought it'd be kind of fun to go back and maybe repaint some of my old still life setups that I did back in 2019 and maybe see if I could repaint it and see how, if my art has improved, how things have changed, if this new technique of speed painting and glazing, like what kind of a difference it makes, things like that. I thought it'd kind of be a fun experiment. So I posted a poll on Instagram to see which one of these still lifes that you thought that I should recreate for my next assignment. And y'all voted. And the winner is, drum roll please. So it looks like we have a time. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna go with option three. The bears and the cup and the little figure because they're more reflective and I think that that looks really neat in this technique. But thank you to everybody who voted. You guys are the best. And if you want your say next time, go follow me on Instagram. Okay, let's go see if we got any better. second stage feeling a little bit lost in the drawing I'm not sure where my proportions are where the correct placement of my light and shadow on the ears and the head and the bear and the moves, feeling up, very stressed a little bit overwhelmed so going into day three feeling a little bit unsure of how this one's gonna turn out not gonna lie I'm uh, feeling a little bit nervous this one was maybe a little bit more complex than I should have made it at this stage but what can you do we're in it now the only way out is through so for my previous painting, um, if you can see it, I don't know if it's going to be in focus or not, but we did this one a la prima, so it was like everything was wet on wet. So the shadows and lights were placed in, gradients go where the form shadows are, and then we go in later and place in the reflections and highlights, but everything is wet on wet, so it blends into each other, mixes in, kind of thing. For this technique, the first stage is all gradients, everything's blown out, it's kind of your lightest shadows and your darkest lights, and then you let that dry. And then the second stage, you kind of move out a little bit more to like your shadows get a little bit darker, your lights get a little bit lighter. The values kind of move further apart. And then everything still is not 
fixed, right? So my other stage, I had my proportional drawing set, the lines were sharp, I could like keep an eye on my proportions throughout the whole painting. This is like a little bit more fluid and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. So I like to know exactly, have control of everything through the whole process and this feels a little bit scattered and I'm still new with it, it's still a new technique to me, so I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed going into today. So today is glazing, so I've sealed my painting off now. I'm going to go in and glaze in my darkest shadows and then I'm going to glaze in a little bit of highlights and stick opaquely in my brightest highlights. So that's where I'm going to go today. I'm not sure how this is going to firm up. I'm going to sharpen up all my lines that need to be sharp and keep my fuzzy edges where it needs to be fuzzy and kind of see how this one turns out. So <laughs> let's get to it. Not going to lie, feeling a little nervous, but here we go. Thanks for watching friends, take care, bye.